It's considered a necessary resource, especially during the last two years. We're talking about the Internet. But the pandemic has revealed not everybody has access to high-speed bandwidth. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell explains tonight how the city's housing authority is trying to fix that. Working from home is the new normal for thousands of New Yorkers. But if you call a housing authority property home, working can be a lot more difficult. Many of the communities that were already disproportionately impacted by the pandemic already, you know, experiencing disparities had this new digital disparity really exacerbated during the pandemic. Sadia Sherman is in charge of community engagement for NYCHA. Tenants here at the James Weldon Johnson houses in East Harlem have complained to her about spotty internet, even in the community center computer lab. When they come here, it works some days, some days it don't. Come in, please, over. Resident Association President Ethel Velez uses a walkie-talkie app to communicate between buildings because service is so bad. Families had to make a choice. Either they worked and their children weren't on school or the kids did their schoolwork and the parent couldn't be at work. Connecting broadband to each NYCHA site is a massive undertaking. But when the pandemic hit, the Internet Master Plan Sherman and the city's Racial Inclusion and Equity Task Force had been pushing for was propelled to the priority list. Many of us live and come from these same neighborhoods that have been disproportionately impacted. So the work is deeply, deeply personal. Why did it take until now to get it done? Well, I mean, that's a really good question. I think that there, we're fortunate that, you know, there was a vision in this administration to begin to address these, this redlining, these disparities. Having that roadmap in place is really important because that's what is bringing us to the point that we're at now. Four of the 21 properties in phase one are done, with the rest slated to finish by the end of the year, altogether servicing 40,000 tenants. In October, the city announced an additional $157 million in funding to bring one and a half million more New Yorkers online in the next 36 months. Better late than never. Neighbors across the street at Jefferson Houses are in the midst of their upgrade right now, but the tenants at Johnson Houses have a while to wait. They are not part of phase one. In East Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News.